Hey guys, Terry with Computer Pro. Gonna look at cutting some conduit different ways. I know when we were looking into a lot of this, they uh, there wasn't a ton out there. There's a few things. So um, we're gonna look at uh, some people use just a hacksaw. You know, obviously you pretty much know what that's that's like. A lot of electricians these days <clears throat> and low voltage guys and everything prefer um, either a. In this course, we have a corded version, um, like a reciprocating saw, which could be like a uh, well, this is actually an upside down, isn't it? Um, like a hacksaw or something. That's pretty pretty popular. Um, <clears throat> or a regular reciprocating saw. This is just a one-hand version. But um, a lot of them really like the portable bandsaw. Um, this is the M12, so it's the lighter version. We're not cutting any. We, we always usually use half-inch or three-quarter-inch conduit. So it's it's perfect for that. And then there's Milwaukee's cutoff tool that is handy. A lot of people, um, <clears throat> this is kind of a, a newer item. Um, so it has its uses. So we'll see. And then last but not least, um, <clears throat> the quiet version, which is, just carry my tool bag, uh, the regular pipe cutter, which I actually like a lot. Um, I mean, the benefits are, yeah, it's a little slower, but it doesn't make any mess at all, and it doesn't use any batteries or anything. So, <clears throat> now, some people say these are scoring tools only, and you got it, but this this cuts through it. I mean, it really does, So, which I'll show you in a minute. And so, I got a little sample piece here, so let's cut some cut a piece and see how they do. So, first, we'll start with the poor, uh, reciprocating saw, the one-hand recip. So, I'm going to do that. Cut a little chunk off, I guess I'm on this side, and see what that's like. So, yeah, it cuts it kind of a pain in the butt. I didn't have it in a vise or anything like that. So um, kind of just hand holding all this. So it, obviously it leaves a pretty rough edge. You have to deburr it. Um, it's pretty rough. And the blade was used, but just a little bit in the back. As you see, it's pretty new. This is a Milwaukee torch blade um, in this saw. So yeah, it works. If I'd have threw a lot more pressure down, I'm sure it would have flew, flew through it. Um, Next, we'll do swap batteries and do, or use the cutoff tool. Cutoff tool is kind of strange. It's really quiet. Um, I don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to try to hold this a little bit better. There's going to be some sparks with this guy, I think. So I'm going to kind of hold it like this if I can. So this is the cutoff tool. Well, that made quick work of it. Um, I was throwing sparks on my pants, so I was kind of backing out a little bit. It would have been faster, but that also produced a pretty gnarly, oh, got to get you in camera, a pretty gnarly edge. Um, but it definitely was faster. I felt like if this was in a vise and I, you know, put some nice pressure in it, I could have flew through that thing. So it's not, it uses a three inch blade, but it's enough for half inch conduit as you see, to cut clear through it, probably three quarter two. Um, so yeah, that was quick. Next we'll do a, the bandsaw. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people ask the difference between the bandsaw and, and a reciprocating saw. And you know, the biggest difference is the reciprocating saw, like the first one there, um, only cuts in one direction. So for every stroke, for, for every, you know, it strokes in and then back, it's only cutting on the back stroke. So it's not, you know, for, for every, uh, you know, 100 strokes, it's only doing 50 cuts, right? Because it's only cutting on half of it. So it's a little slower, I think. A bandsaw, the, the blade goes, you know, with the teeth, so it cuts in a constant direction. So it's cutting all the way through. So... In theory, it should be faster than a recip, definitely. So we'll see. 
We'll see how that goes. I'm gonna do this side, Make it easier to hold. All right, I'm gonna do it with the bandsaw. Wow. That was very, 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 very nice. Let's try that again. Yep, definitely faster and a lot cleaner. I mean, it still needs to be deburred, but man, the difference between... <laughs> that might have been the torch, that gnarly edge, but that's actually pretty nice and pretty quick. So I can see why electricians and people really rave about this guy. He seems to cut conduit really, really nice. Um, Nicer than this, although this has a lot of other uses, uh, different backer boards and stuff like that. Um, you know, cement board. I mean, this will do, there's a diamond blade and a bunch of stuff. So, I mean, it will cut conduit, but it's the, the one that felt the best. I know visually what you guys are watching, but what felt like it did it the best so far was this guy. Wow. Anyways, and then the tried and true pipe score. Let's, I don't know if we can time. All right, sorry about getting that, guys. I had some... Uh, some quick business come up. So now I'm going to do the uh, the conduit cutter, the regular pipe cutter. I like this one. Um, get them at Home Depot. This is actually a Home Flex brand. It's made to cut that Home Flex stuff, the, uh, you know, that stuff that's not sold rigid. But it works. I, it, it's rated for stainless steel, I believe. Um, it's got a nice bearing system in there. So anyways, these are a lot. These are really precise. Because, you know, you can kind of take your time and put it right on your pencil mark. Um, so we'll see how this one does. The thing that I really like about this is there's, you know, there's no battery, no electricity, no mess. So I usually just tighten a little bit, just barely to score it kind of. And to get my initial track, like right, a couple turns there, there. And then I'll start cranking in. Every turn or so I crank in with it. So tighten, go twice, tighten. I usually tighten and it feels like it's pretty close to being there. Yeah, this is it right here. That's it. Very clean. As you see, that's probably the cleanest of them all. I still have to uh, run a reaming tool through it, of course, deburr and stuff, but very clean and quiet. No noise, no mess, no metal shavings. Um, the only, I mean, this is my preferred way, really, to be honest with you, unless I'm going to do a whole bunch. If I'm going to do a ton of cuts, then obviously this would get old quick, um, and I would prefer the bandsaw in that case, because that thing's a monster. That thing's awesome. But if I'm just going to do one cut, or, you know, we're low voltage, we don't do that much with conduit, um, so our cuts are minimal, so I really like this guy. I always have it with me. Um, so yeah, so that's all four things, um, and they work.